Huh? No, but yeah. All right, let me go and explain this real quick because you guys got that answer, right? Yeah. All right, hopefully, see if you guys can finish that up for today. That's kind of your challenge. So for this one, I want to factor this out. All right? So to factor this out, ladies and gentlemen, we look at this and we say, is there anything they have in common, right? That's our biggest thing. Is there anything they have in common? And we look at this and they say, no, there's nothing that these, thing, that these three terms have in common. So automatically, I'm going to go through my, my x, right? And remember, this is ax squared plus bx plus c. Up top, a times c, which is 3 times negative 5, which is a negative 15. Then I go to my b. My b is going to be a positive 14. Okay? Now I need to think to myself, what two numbers for Tanti? Multiply to give me negative 15, but add to give me positive 14. Yes? Do you need to go to the restroom? No, I'm trying to remember. Oh, oh, you lost it. Okay, yes? Yeah. Uh, I was just saying negative 1. Negative 15 and negative 1. Very good. Remember, uh, it's always a times c. When we did the other problems, let's say if I did this, x squared plus um, 8x plus 16, okay? This x is just going to be 16 over positive 8, right? The reason being is because it's a, b, and c. Your a is 1. What's 1 times 16? 16. That's why I only got the 16 there. But here, my a is 3. You gotta make sure you multiply it. Here, we just didn't really go through it all the time, Dean, because it was always a one, so you're always gonna need your C anyways. So now I have these two points. So ladies and gentlemen, we can work on the grouping part, or we can work on the area. I'm just gonna do the area one again, so you guys can see it. So I create a box, and I throw in the areas that we know. We know 3 8 squared, we know negative five, and now I'm going to include 15h and negative 1h, which is a negative h. So now what I need to look at is, let's ask Ethan again, since you did your job. Ethan, what's your numbers multiply? Give me 3h squared. Um, 3h on top and h on the side. 3h times h, right? Now, right. Ethan, looking at it, where should I put the h? Should I put it here or up here? On top. On top. So the 3 would be here? No, 3 would be on top. Okay, so I should put the 3H on top and the H right there. Right. Okay. The reason why I'm assuming H wants, Ethan wants to do that is because H goes into negative H. Does a 3H go into negative H? No. So I use an H. So now I can say H times 3H is 3H squared. H times negative H is a negative 1. 3H times what gives you 15H? Positive 5. And then let's just check our answer. Does 5 times negative 1 give me negative 5? Yes. So my answer are these two binomials. 3h minus 1 times h plus 5. And what's different about that, Jeff, is everybody wants to automatically, they forget. That's why I showed you guys this area. It's the area. It's not just what these answers are. Everybody wants to do this. You guys got to understand that that is not the answer. Everybody wants to do that. You gotta use the box. If you're not understanding the grouping technique, put them in a square and then factor them out to get 3h minus 1 times h plus 5. Okay? Good.